Good morning, another another great, another great turnout on Camelback Mountain. Another great time. <clears throat> Got a good quick story for you. Have a client turned into all of our clients turn into friends. Well, I shouldn't say 100 percent They turn into friends to a certain point. The degree of friends. This individual, these last two, just turned into some pretty good friends. Nice quick story here real quick. Started off five, six months ago doing some bids, trying to get this project locked in, giving them an idea of how much it's gonna cost to do what they wanna do. Well, we were over what they anticipated. Went back to the drawing board, we were still over. Went back to the drawing board, we were still over, and they came back and said, okay, let's go ahead and move forward, but we wanna add a couple of things. Now, every job doesn't go 100% perfect. There is a lot of anxiety in construction. There's a lot of variables that we deal with. Sometimes, uh, I mean, it's you're juggling balls with your right hand and you're spinning plates with your left and you are just trying to be the magic maker, trying to make sure that everything comes together. You are basically, as a general contractor, as custom home builder, as pool builder, landscape, you are a coordinator. You coordinate and hold people accountable. And realistically, with our clients, it's really not about construction. It's all about making sure, it's all about developing a relationship. That's really all it's, that's all it's about. So yeah, we had a handful of times where the anxiety raised up, got a little crazy. Um, far too many times in this world right now, I see it all the time. Individuals will run into a hard spot, hit a couple of roadblocks, and think of ways to get out instead of staying in, instead of working things out and looking at the final, the, looking at the, at, at the end, the objective, looking at the objective on, on what we're trying to achieve. And that is, we're not working for money, we're working to make a difference in other people's lives. We return phone calls like that. We put everybody on Voxer. It's, it's absolute communication. It's real-time communication. So a couple of times we've, we've got uh, high anxiety. It's, it, it seems like, oh no, here we go, here we go, here we go. And if you're not good in communication, you're not good with your people, it can go south real fast especially when you got a new guy that I'm trying to train on the job. He's cutting his teeth, understanding, not necessarily a little bit about construction, but he's a young kid. He's trying to understand how to communicate with people and not how to bullshit people. So I'm juggling, I'm spinning. And a lot of times I'm thinking, oh man, about to pull my whatever I have left out of my head. And uh, there, there was a couple of times where it got a little crazy because my, my client, Kim, she's exactly like me. Now, the reason why I'm telling you this story is because, like I said, it could have went south very easy. Every project could go south, but it didn't. And there's reasons for that. And it's about building trust. And it's about building, it's about building building a relationship. It's not about construction. It's about taking care of people. This is about giving and delivering the best possible product that you possibly can in, in making a difference in somebody else's life. That's what it's all about. So long story short, fast forward towards the end of the project. It could have went south. They, they, spent, they spent a little bit more than what they anticipated. <clears throat> comes to the end of the project, Doug's, Doug calls me back and says, Jim, I think you overcharged us on this one thing, and then I don't think we got credit for this, and and I think you I, I think you double credit us $9,600. $9, we owe you $9,600. So I hang up the phone, go into my, I start doing all my my numbers, and Doug's like, Jim, you know, you, you contractors track this stuff. He He's a CEO of one of the biggest, biggest uh, um, credit unions in the country. So he's a numbers guy. So he's eyeballing my numbers. 
I get a text from Kim saying, just, just listen to him. He knows what he's talking about. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, no worries. I went and did. I said, yeah, I overcharged you. I double charged you $1,100 on this, but I did give you, I did not charge you. I did give you credit for the $1,162. So, so I come back and I call him back and say, Doug, you know, Doug, I, I think you paid me for the $9,600, my man. I think you did. He said, Jim, I'm not going to argue with you. I'm going to tell you right now, you got one number out of place. You got it in the wrong box. And I owe you $9,600. I'm not even wasting my time talking about it. Don't even waste time looking for it. You shorted yourself $9,600. Well, I, I said, all right, I'll just have to go. And I started looking back on it. It didn't make sense. But it was one of those things that were, was hidden. And he was, he came back to me with the honesty and the integrity because of the relationship that we built throughout the project. Now, if it would have went south, they could have easily said, this guy's an asshole. I'm keeping a night $9,500. But because we developed a relationship, because we saw eye to eye on certain things, because they knew that I was giving them everything that I could possibly give them. And I gave, I kicked, I, I, we, we totaled up a, a lot of, a little bit of money that we gave back. And that just goes to show you there, right there on that instance. Honesty is the best policy. Always tell the truth. Treat your people with dignity and respect. Be positive, enthusiastic, and be persistent. And that's all it takes in business. And grind your ass off. Make sure you take care of people. Because if you work for money, there's no better way not to get money than to work for money. We don't work for money. We work to make a difference. I just want to give a shout out to Doug and Kim. We finally got their project finished. What an absolute beautiful home. We're gonna do a photo shoot of it here real soon, and we're gonna do a case study. I'm gonna have my boy come down from Utah and do a case study on them, and have them sitting in their beautiful, full-blown remodel uh, behind Desert Ridge Mall. And I am just extremely happy that I had an opportunity to work with these individuals, uh, clients turned friend, and Kim, I cannot wait till you guys get back in town and I cannot wait to get you on that mountain over there. I've just passed your house and I'm heading to another site. I cannot wait to get you on Camelback Mountain because I know that you are an athlete, but we'll see if you leave me in the dust. Have a great, have a great day, everybody. Take care of your people and they will take care of you. Jim Stegg, Stegg Custom Homes. Live with passion, live out loud, and live flipping extreme, baby.